All right, big news today came from NOAA as they issued their first Atlantic hurricane season forecast. And you can see from uh, these numbers behind us, uh, I should turn this way for those, uh, <laughs> that we are expecting an above average season from 13 to 19 named storms compared to 14, which is average, six to 10 hurricanes, seven is average, and category three major hurricanes or higher, three to five of which three is average. So while NOAA has issued an above average hurricane season, we have to look at the reasoning of why. So meteorologist Freddie Vela here uh, with a look in depth there. And of course, Freddie, you've had experience with hurricanes working in the Rio Grande Valley, yep. dealing with them more than we deal with them here. Yeah, and there's multiple reasonings on why NOAA would uh, issue such a forecast. And we actually uh, went in and we were able to look at some of the reasonings on why. And so see, uh, here's a look at what we've been able to actually see. So there's a recap really quickly of the the hurricane forecast, but uh, one of the reasonings on why is the Enzo neutral pattern that we're going to see. Now we did have a La Nina earlier in the year, but that did uh, phase itself out. And now we're in Enzo neutral, which means it's neither El Nino or La Nina. It kind of puts us right at normal conditions or uh, what we would normally see around this time of year. So the trade winds are actually in a normal position as well and average wind shear. But uh, you have to remember that that just means a lot less of an impact for storms meaning storms can actually still develop. And then there's other factors at play too. And it's not just looking at El Nino or El Nino, because you can be in one or the other and still have an above average season. There's other factors that go into play here. One of the other reasons is because of the above normal sea surface temperatures. And as we look at the map right now of the uh, oceans, and you can actually see that a lot of the region is still actually above average. A lot of this uh, darker orange that you see uh, from the Gulf into the Caribbean and into the Atlantic as well. The farther out towards the east you go, as you get closer and closer to Africa, we get a bit closer into the normal conditions. But all of this orange that you see here is already above average, and that's just a snapshot of what's happening right now. You have to remember it only takes a sea surface temperature of about 80 degrees or above to give a storm energy. And as we can see here, we actually have a ton of energy that can actually be used. So uh, of course, we encourage you to uh, get a bit more in depth with that and look into see what's happening happening and not only that but we actually have our summer outlook as well that's going to run tonight at 6 p.m. but if you want more information on the 2025 Atlantic hurricane season outlook that Noah just released uh, we actually have on our website at kxan.com all the details that you need it's a full article that talks about not only the sea surface temperatures and what that means and where we're at but it also talks about uh, that Enzo neutral that I was just mentioning it goes a bit more in depth there so it's a really great way that you can take a look at that we which does tie in to our season outlook as well, which we encourage you to tune in at 6 p.m. But for now, let's go ahead and send it over to Chief Meteorologist Nick Bannon.